The Land Transportation and Franchising Regulatory Board says the public utility vehicle modernization program will go on despite the filing of Senate Resolution No. 1096 calling for the suspension of the program due to concerns raised by some drivers and transport groups. In a statement, LTFRB Chairman Teofilo Guadis II assures drivers, operators, and stakeholders who participated in the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program that it will proceed as long as there is no directive coming from the President and the Department of Transportation to halt the program. Guadis adds that the LTFRB respects the resolution signed by 22 out of 23 senators. All senators signed except Senator Risa Hontiveros. According to the Senators, the program needs a thorough review and reassessment to ease the fear of drivers and operators who will be directly affected by its implementation.